Hello good day viewers, here are some of the properties of inequality you should know. We have the first one which is transitivity. If A is greater than B and B is greater than C, it implies that A must be greater than C. Let me give you an example. Suppose we have um, A to be equal to 5, no doubt we know that it must be greater than 4. Assuming A is 5 and B is 4. Then this 4, then this 4, which is this one, you know, B is 4, is greater than 3, definitely, we have no doubt about it. You can clearly see that 5 must be greater than 3. 5 must be greater than 3. That's what it means. Because this is A, this is C. A is greater than C, according to this statement, if and only if A is greater than B, and B is greater than C. That is the first one. Then the second one is addition and subtraction property. If you have um, A to be greater than B, then A plus C must also be greater than B plus C. For example, if A is 5, which is greater than B, which is 4, for example, adding the same quantity to these numbers will not change it. For example, if I should add 2 here, we have 5 plus 2. It will remain greater than 4 plus 2 right 4 plus 2 because this is 7 and this is 6 7 is also greater than 6 that is what the first statement mean here and uh, subtracting the same quantity will make the inequality remain balanced for example if you have um, 5 greater than 4 subtracting 2 here for subtraction 5 minus 2 will be greater than 4 minus 2 this is 3 and this is 2 3 is definitely greater than 2. The multiplication property, if A is greater than B, then A multiplied by a certain value will remain greater than B multiplied by same value, provided that that value is positive. If that value is positive, greater than 0. Let's test it. Um, suppose we have A as 5. I will be using this 5, which is greater than 4. Let's choose um, a positive number to multiply them. 5 multiplied by 2 will remain greater than 4 multiplied by 2. That is what it means if this is positive. Because this is what? 10 greater than 8. You see 10 is greater than 8. So this statement is true. And it stated that AC must be less than BC if C is negative. Let's see if that's true. Let's assume the number we wish to multiply is negative. So this 5 multiplied by negative 2, less than, because they say it will be less than, 4 multiplied by negative 2. Let's see, this is negative 10, less than negative 8. Is this true? Yeah, definitely, because, you know, on the number line, if you have negative 10 here, you have negative 9 here, you have negative 8. I remember numbers to the left are always less than numbers to the right so negative 10 is to the left of negative 8 which means that negative 10 is less than negative 8 so this statement is true then for division if you have a greater than b then a divided by c must be greater than b divided by c provided that um oh the c sorry this should be c provided that c is positive and c is negative the the sign of the direction of the inequality will change i'll explain this further um if suppose you have eight greater than four if this is a this is b eight is greater than four let's divide by a number which is positive eight divided by two must remain greater than four divided by two because this is four and this is two and four is greater than two definitely but once it is negative, the direction will change. Let me show you. The direction here will change if these values are negative. Because negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. This is less than negative 2. And you know that negative 4 is to the left of negative 2 on the number line. And hence, this is less than this. So you should know that whenever you multiply or you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the direction of the inequality will change. This is what we mean. 
Suppose I have 4, which we know definitely is greater than negative 2. Let's multiply both sides by negative 3. So we have 4 times negative 3, the other side, negative 2, negative 3. I don't want to put the, the sign of the inequality yet. This will be negative 12. This will be positive 6. So which one is greater? We know that this is greater than this. So the direction of the inequality will change. Can you see that? From greater than type to the less than type. Let's divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2. This will be negative 2 because 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. This will be positive 1 because negative 2 negative divided by negative 2 is 1. So which one is greater? 1 is greater than this. So the direction of the inequality will definitely change. So in a nutshell, whenever you multiply both sides of an inequality by negative value, the direction will, of the inequality will change. Likewise, if you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number. So this is all about the properties of inequality. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.